Czyli to już się kameruje. Hi, I'm Mateusz. Nowadays, full stack software engineer in VMPL software house, but my career path was a bit curvy. I have started from the control engineering and robotics engineering degree on the Wrocław University of Science and Technology. During this time, I have built and programmed my own robot, line follower, and Basically, my story has begun at this point. Having this experience gave me possibility to start my first job as the embedded developer. But it felt like it's not what I want to do for the rest of my career days. Then I got interested into a web development and currently I'm enhancing my programming skills in this field of IT. So, that was a short introduction of myself, but I want to start today with a question. Which activity makes sense at the very beginning of our careers? To be honest, every one of them. Beginning from the science clubs, hackathons, every additional project, which is paid or not, every experience is valuable. It will give you a better insight what is more interesting for you, what turns you on and what really makes you happy. At this point of career, nothing will be done perfectly. It's okay. It's totally fine. The most important thing is to be able to declare yourself which direction and what approach you'll take. Because directions in IT might be different. Like for example, programming, testing, UX design, management, etc. After collecting experience and while a decision has been made in which direction you want to go, definitely you will want to find your first job. In order to do it, you need to attend your job interviews, obviously. And now the question is how to do it properly. Firstly, remember not to stress too much. If one job interview won't be successful, just keep attending to the interviews because you always learn something while being interviewed. There are always different tasks to complete, different requirements for each vacancy and it will teach your soul to learn from the failure. On the other hand, it will be a feedback for you what else to learn, what things should be improved, and how to impress the future audience. Another thing is thinking positively. Show that you're eager and ready to get this job and you're the best fit for this particular offer. Next thing is being willing to help others. That's the part of senioral positions and it's well seen when somebody has such skills like leading, guidance. It's also valuable when a job candidate wants to develop different skills from multiple areas. Generally, it's a good trait to be willing to develop your skills and learn. An example, if you're a great tech expert, maybe it's a good idea to also pay attention to your soft skills. Okay, after collecting your first career experience and obtaining first job, it's high time to start working. So, how to be a good team player? I've prepared some tips from my personal experience. First of all, do not be discouraged when anything goes wrong. Just try to find another solution. Be persistent. Constantly proceed with small steps, but in a good direction. Also, it's important not to be shy and be able to ask once you'll meet any problem, which might be a wall for you, which is difficult to pass it alone with one small remark. 
Do not ask simple questions by your laziness. Another thing is transparency. If anything is not okay for you, just tell about it and I'm pretty sure that the all involved people will want to find better solutions. Next thing, please keep in mind that working in IT doesn't mean that we have to love coding endlessly. Keep work-life balance, otherwise it's going to lead to the professional burnout. Leaning slowly to the end of my speech. It's also good to mention about friendly mindset and willingness to help others, because being a cool guy with nice technical skills is better than a guy with outstanding technical skills but unfortunately without an ability to pass his knowledge to anyone else. What I sincerely encourage you to do is taking soft skills very seriously. It's worth to treat them as a part of core skill set like programming languages or frameworks. This will open career paths for you that go far beyond just programming, providing higher status in the organization and significant financial benefits. We have finally reached the end of my speech and at this point I want to wish you lots of success and good luck on your career path. I hope my advices will help you and at least they won't destroy your worldview. Thank you.